Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. I can't believe it's only nine more days till Christmas. I don't know about you, but it came upon me very fast. I had my little checklist and I think I got everything done. I mean, the trees up, check. Presents are purchased, check. The house is decorated, check. Um, all my baking is done, check. What about you, cameraman? I'm Are you done. all done with your shopping? I did everything in one day. I'm glad to hear that. All righty. So I got everything done. But you know what? I think there's something I overpurchased. And what could it be? These candy canes. I have so many candy canes. Candy canes coming out of my ears, all colors all shapes, all sizes. So what to do with the candy canes? So today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite candy cane hack. But I wanted to just mention something about candy canes. You all know what they are. They're a sweet treat. Um, they're sold mostly between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And they're not just used to eat, they're used to decorate too. And every year, this blew my mind, 1.76 billion candy canes are sold between Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's a heck of a lot of candy canes. And this I wrote down, this blew my mind. The biggest candy cane ever made was 36 feet 7 inches by 51 feet long. That's a big candy cane. And December 26th of every year, is National Candy Cane Day. So the purpose of my video today is, what the heck are we gonna do with all these leftover candy canes? Yes, I hung some on the tree. Yes, I put some on packages. Yes, I decorated some of my cookie platters with some, but I still have so many left. So, some of you may have seen this hack. Some of you may have not seen it, but I'm gonna show it to you today. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my Ninja. I love my Ninja. I use it for everything. And I'm going to take these candy canes. Of course, make sure you take the plastic off them. And just break them up. And put them in your Ninja. Just break them up. No special way. Just, whoops. There we go. I'm using all of the same, um, oops, kind today. But uh, there's so many different kinds. Um, we went to a, a holiday concert last night for my grandson, and the little guy, whoop, they're flying all over. <laughs> the little guy, um, you can eat that one, cameraman. The little guy had, I think it was, uh, I don't know, maybe sweet treats or Jolly Rancher candy canes. I mean, they come in so many different flavors now. It's unbelievable. Reminds me of um, the Peeps at Easter. The peeps come in all different colors and they come in all different shapes now for all the holidays. So you're gonna break up these candy canes. You can put them in your um, food processor. If you have a, a strong blender, I just happen to always use my Ninja. So put as many in as you want, doesn't matter, it's up to you. Mmm, they smell so good. Just gonna put a few more in for the sake of time. Later I'll do the rest of them. Okay, I'm going to put the top of my Ninja, whoops, there we go, it's all plugged in, and I'm just going to pulse it a few times. Maybe I'm going to pulse it a few times. Is it plugged in? Yes, it is. Hold on. I think this is going to be, what, is this going to be a blooper? <laughs> what, cameraman? Why isn't it going in, cameraman? Oh, wait a minute, let me show you. Should I leave this in, cameraman, or make it a blooper? Leave it in, girl. All right, here we go. Look at that. Just with a few pulses, those candy canes are literally pulverized. You want to get them almost like a fine sugar. That was funny. <laughs> At least I thought it was. Okay. Woo, look at the powder flying out. Can you see those, cameraman? Surely can. It's just pulverizing. It smells so good. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this little mason jar. I just happen to put a little snowflake ribbon around it. And I'm going to fill up the mason jar 
with this crushed up pulverized candy cane. Now, if you don't have something to uh, pulverize it in, you can put them in a, a bag, take a mallet, and just start crashing them, just like you would nuts, until they're all um, fine. They will eventually um, work. It will eventually work, but this works a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm filling up the jar, and I'm going to fill it more later. What I'm going to do with it is over here, I have my nice cup that I made of hot cocoa. I ran out of my mini marshmallows because I was using them for my video the other day with my snowy shovel cookies. But what you can do is you put to your tasting, say a spoonful of this crushed candy cane in this hot cocoa. It will melt in the cocoa and you will have delicious um, peppermint hot chocolate. You can also put it in um, coffee. You can put it on the top of um, ice cream. Just let your imagination go wild. And I'm gonna put a little marshmallow fluff on the top of there because I love marshmallow on my hot cocoa. Mmm, does that look good? Let me give that a taste. It's delicious. Now I personally would put a speck more of the peppermint in because I like it a little bit more minty, but that's your preference. So that is a great little hack for what to do with your candy canes. You get these mason jars, you can use little ones. I have a bigger one here. Depends on how many candy canes you tr crush up. Put a little ribbon around them. And when your guests come, they want hot cocoa, just put this out on the table and tell them what they can do with it. Or you can give them as little gifts, little sweet treats. So anyway, give this a try. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if, oh, and I said, um, and I'm working on not saying, um, anymore. <laughs> so anyway, give this a try. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm a little cray cray and I try to do a little bit of everything in my videos. So I wouldn't want you to miss anything. And, um, I hope to see you really soon. Have a great holiday. And I love this little sign that I got. It says, who needs Santa? I have a grandma and I have four grandsons. You all know that. And that's for sure. So for now, see you soon. Toodles.